Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're in Carlsbad, California today, Callaway headquarters. We're with Luke Williams right now. Luke, good to see you. Good to see you. We are talking about brand new Rogue irons. Yes. There's actually three models. I know you're super right. excited about these irons. Tell us what's going on with Rogue. Yeah, so we've got a, a line, like you said, made up of three models. We've got our, our standard Rogue. Uh, we have the Rogue Pro. Uh, which is typical for us to have a standard and pro iron. And then we have a Rogue X, which is a new configuration for us this year, kind of modeled a little bit after what we did this year with the Epic Star. So it's a lighter, longer, stronger um, sort of configuration, really geared toward providing sort of ultimate distance. Um, the core technologies are the same across the line. So they all have our face cup technology. We have a new VFT this year that makes the ball speed's even better on off-center hits in particular. Uh, we have uh, urethane microspheres, which we're using uh, in the cavity, in the lower section of the head. What these do is they allow us, as we make the face faster and faster, it's very hard to do that without giving up feel. Usually compromise a little bit of feel to get that speed. These urethane uh, injected with microspheres allows us to um, to soften the feel, make the sound and feel better without compromising the, uh, the speed of the face. So that's a new technology for us. Uh, we have MIMD weighting that we introduced in the Epic Irons um, this year, uh, featured in these as well. Um, so that helps us really precisely locate the center of gravity. So this is a, a lot of technology for us in a, in a category like this. Yeah, and you know, obviously the pro version is going to as the name would suggest, sort of suit that better player. Correct, yeah. For somebody who's more looking for a game improvement iron, yep. how would they go about choosing between sort of the standard Rogue and the X? Yeah, so it's almost, for us, it's more of a, almost a mindset rather than a, than a player ability type. So um, the Rogue X is sort of about unabashed distance. So for the guy that likes to um, hit their eight iron farther than their buddies, or they want to hit a seven instead of a six on a, on a par three, whatever it may be. Um, this is designed to give them that extra distance without compromising trajectory. So the sole is a little bit wider, um, which, which for some people will um, sort of self-select. So some people will like that wider sole, some people may not. And the standard Rogue then would have a little narrower sole, but the wider sole allows us to get the center of gravity lower and deeper. So even with some stronger lofts, we can still get a trajectory uh, that we're looking for. Yeah, and obviously um, with the three models, there's going to be a perfect fit for every player. Yeah, it really covers a broad range of golfers. We'll have in the pro model, I imagine we'll, we'll have some of those even out on tour. Um, and then with the other two, obviously we go up you know, all the way into high teen, low 20 sort of handicap range. Yeah, great information, Luke. And obviously, if you've been playing a set of older Callaway irons, you're ready to get into something new. Second swing, we'll take your trade in. We'll get you into some new Rogue irons and help you have more fun on the golf course. Luke, thanks again. We appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for coming.